Michael Hutchins from the Knicks House. Welcome Hi. back to Good Rockin' today. Thank you. The last time you were here it was uh, the Commodore in yeah. Vancouver, and uh, and now it's the Coliseum. I mean, there's a drastic yeah. difference in not only audience size, but uh, just in terms of success. Um, how is success sitting with you? It's very well. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't, um, everything's going great. You know, in excess is a funny animal. We, the, the more we just enjoy ourselves and almost indulge ourselves in a positive way, the more success we've had. So pros and cons. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're very happy at the moment. You surprised? Um, <clears throat> well, I didn't think about it, so I'm not surprised either way. We just do what feels right and natural and what comes to us. <laughs> you know? And there It's <laughs> boringly simple, sorry. <laughs> but still, if you do something boringly simple and end up on mm -hmm. top, that's it. What about pros and cons of it? Are you finding, uh, are there problems to go along with the, uh, with the joy of being successful? As successful mm -hmm. as you are? Um, I think you inherit a lot of responsibility for all kinds of things you never expected you would. Um, and uh, you know they range from the sublime to the ridiculous, and, and you just got to deal with those and figure out your priorities. You know, what about the ridiculous? What have you had to do that you haven't particularly enjoyed? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. You know, the f just the funniest things that that somehow involve playing music as well. You know, just um, to 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 not be able to go to certain places at certain times and do certain things. You know. Your privacy really affected? Yeah, because it's privacy and things like that. Which isn't too bad a thing, really. Mm -hmm. I'm not miserable about it. <laughs> right, I mean, if it was all to end tomorrow, it would be something you'd miss. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you avoid, when, when this happens, uh, how do you avoid the, the star syndrome amidst all this media yeah. barrage, you know, and all this attention that comes out to you? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I, think, I think that, for a start, we don't really have much of a star system in Australia, so it doesn't really work to be one doesn't mean much to act like one at least most stars aren't really stars you know they're just people acting like that what they think they should act like i don't know i'm fairly arrogant as i was when i was 17. i haven't changed much there's an article i read that says you're an arrogant beep <laughs> I, what, what do you base that on no i think i think that i probably was worse years ago than i am now i'm thinking you know i'm a pretty straightforward person I'm interested in somehow maintaining um, something that I believe in, that's all, you know? I just believe in, in the music that we do and what I have to say and what the band has to say and if I can maintain that through all this, then I'll be very happy. But tell me about Mediate and uh, the thought that went into writing that song. Um, Andrew had it around for a year or two and he never showed it to us, it was a secret. And what's, what's this? And and I help you know, so we write some more lyrics and let's put it together. And it just came out really fast. And we added it to, we sort of segued it to Need You Tonight. And um, then we ripped off the old, the first film we've ever made, Bob Dylan's mm -hmm. clip, and and made that in a coal mine in Australia. You've lived pretty well all over the world. Where where's home? Um, Hong Kong. And how, uh, when was the last time you were back there? Mm, about uh, three weeks, four weeks ago. All right, but you don't get back that off? Yeah, we just had six weeks off, so it's home for a little while. But no, no, we're, you know, we've been, t especially the last couple of years, we've been touring pretty heavily. And what's in an NXS show, just for those that maybe haven't had the chance to see you? Six boys making fools of themselves. <laughs> the rock <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's not, it's not a, um, you know, we've got, a, I think we've got a big stage compared to what we used to have, and we've got lights and stuff, but it's pretty tasteful. It's not millions of flashing lights and smoke bombs and, you know, um, animals leaping off the stage and things. It's um, rock and roll, you know, our kind of rock and roll, and uh, I think it's pretty, it's a pretty good night. In fact, everybody seems very happy. <laughs> I don't know. You know, we've got things to say and we have some fun and we enjoy it a lot. You know, it seems that um, on your way up, music critics are always with you. And it seems as soon as you hit the big time and that success, that they suddenly turn against you. Do you find that that's the case? Um, I don't know. If you, re if you won't read bad articles, you shouldn't read good articles, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so you don't, don't read them at all. I don't know. Some journalists I read because I think they're very good. Um, Journalism's a strange thing, I don't know. I'd, and we've, on the whole, never had really bad press in a big way, you know? Um, it's, it's probably good to be either loved or hated and not to be ignored. You know? mm -hmm. The comparisons are coming in. I mean, you've heard, yeah. you've heard all of these. What, 
Jeez, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I've got Mick Jagger, I've got dances like Madonna, mm -hmm. uh, I've got, uh, you know, <laughs> Jim, actually, I'll show that to you, but uh, Jim, uh, <laughs> not Jim Morrison, that's a common one, and I know yeah. you've heard this a million times before. Mm -hmm. um, is it a fair comparison? I don't know Did you like Jim, Jim Morrison? Morrison? I saw the second video, I've never seen him the other day, so. No, I don't really know much about him. He's good. Mm -hmm. He's good, isn't he? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a matter of opinion. You don't, you don't remind me at all of Jim Morrison. I don't Morrison, mind the comparison, uh, I suppose. And does this, uh, th it seems that people are looking to hang a hat on something. A lot you know, of people I mean. are compared to are dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dangerous thing. I should take care of myself. <laughs>